Hi, everybody. I am so excited for this week. I hope you are too. My name is Lena. It is so beautiful today. The sun is out and it's spring break at my house. So I'm coming out a little bit later than I hoped. My husband just got home and hopefully the little guys all stay upstairs playing with their Duplos while dad entertains them. I am a mom of four. I have four boys and I'm also a holistic nutritionist. And it's, hi Sherry, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I, it's my pleasure to be able to share with you this week this most incredible, amazing product that doTERRA has called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And we're gonna touch on some other things too in regards to healthy habits that you can create for you and your family um, every day to sustain your health and to kind of keep your family afloat. I was just out to dinner the other night with a friend who was just kind of sad and venting to me about how hard this winter has been. And this is a new friend of mine in the area. Um, I recently moved to Southern California. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. And she was just so broken and so open to anything that I had to say and just said, what would you get started with? How can I help my family to never have a winter like we just went through? And first of all, my heart just broke for her because as a mom, right, you don't want any of your mom friends or people in your circle of life to be suffering or feel the pains and just the aches and heaviness um, that having sick babies and sick families can take a toll on, on you and on your own mental health even. So my heart went out to her and I feel the burden that she feels. So what I suggested to her is the same thing that I am gonna be talking about this week, which is sustainability. We wanna be able to have sustainable health, preventative healthcare. And the way that we do that is really thinking about the lifestyle ladder in doTERRA. And that's what this Healthy Habits Kit is all about. If you have purchased the kit or if you've purchased the Lifelong Vitality Pack and you are here participating with us, then you know that there are aspects in your life that you're trying to improve. And whether that's trying to eat better, maybe creating a little bit of an exercise routine for yourself, lowering your stress and managing your uh, sleep and trying to get better sleep, also trying to reduce that toxic load within your home, having a more informed self-care and preventative health care. All of those things are so, so crucial and so important. Hi, Jacqueline, welcome. And so I just wanna take a few minutes each day this week to come on and kind of chat with you about each product so that we can dig a little bit deeper. And I've promised Jenna I won't talk all day because you know I can, I get excited when I get on my soapbox because I just wanna share all the things and my, I ramble and because I'm Italian, I don't always make a ton of sense. My stories kind of like go all over the place. So I'm gonna rein it in and be really focused on these lives this week and share with you one at a time. So today we're gonna start off with our Microplex VMZ. So this is one of the components of the Lifelong Vitality Pack. Oops, something popped up on the computer there. Um, so, my dad, my sweet Italian dad, has the most beautiful farm in Central California. And it's a vineyard and he knows the soil. He knows how to harvest the plant, how to grow the plant, how to make sure the soil is optimal, how to um, spray the plants, even on organic farms, how to use pesticides that are more natural, how to make sure that the plant has the best uh, environment to grow in, how to really sustain the plant and keep it healthy so that when harvest comes, he can have the most beautiful vineyard and that all the contractors in the area want to buy his grapes because they know his soil is the best quality in town. Okay. Now that's the same idea when we're talking about the lifelong vitality pack and why my dad always comes to mind when I think about First of all, making sure I take a multivitamin that's of good quality. And second, thinking about the food we're eating and the quality of the soil. Okay, now focus in and think for a second about the foods that you're buying every day. When you go to the grocery store, whenever you go on your grocery trip, once a week or once every other week, 
if you're once every other week, I want to know what your tricks are because I have to go sometimes two or three times a week. Um, but when you're there, what part of the grocery store are you really shopping from? Are you shopping from the inside or the outside of the grocery store? And for me, myself, I don't even go to the local grocery store anymore because I find that they really don't have what I'm looking for. So something like Albertsons or Smith's, Harris Teeter, places like that, I'm not frequent, frequenting anymore. Uh, most of the time, I'm getting my products from places like Sprouts, Whole Foods, Amazon, um, Amazon Fresh. I have Imperfect Produce delivered to my house and then Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has some really, really great options. In fact, one of the reasons why people don't like Trader Joe's is because the products are changing all the time, which is actually the reason why I do love Trader Joe's because they keep things that are in season. So focusing in and thinking about what you're buying at the grocery store is going to lead us down the conversation of why it's important to take this Microplex VMZ. So bear with me for a second while I talk about that. So I don't know, maybe 50, 75 years ago, going to a grocery store looked very different because it looked more like a Trader Joe's. Things that are in season were on the shelves. If it was out of season, it wasn't at the grocery store. Today, when you go to a typical grocery store, it is on the shelf. You can buy tomatoes all year long. You can buy strawberries all year long, bananas all year long, because, and most of you are thinking, oh, that's because we import, and you know, importing um, our produce is great because it's in season wherever they're importing it from. Au contraire. <laughs> so what's happening is, let's say, which I would say 60 to 75% of the things we get in season are coming from South America or Central America. And especially if you live in the US, sorry if you're watching this from somewhere else in the world, I don't know where your produce comes from, but look into that. So if you're getting your produce that is out of season, that was shipped to you from somewhere else where it's in season, one, they have different regulations on how they farm. So be really careful and intentional about how you buy and make recipes, buy foods and make recipes for your family when you're getting foods from somewhere else because their regulations, not just the regulations on how they grow the food, but how they spray the food, how they use certain chemicals in the foods uh, when they're preparing them, that's, that all plays a huge role in the efficacy of how well that thing is going to serve your body. So what I mean by that is this, two things. One, see how I get off on tangents? I hope you're following me. One, it's really important that we always select something that is in season. And the reason for that is if it's picked somewhere else, it was picked prematurely, meaning in Mexico, okay, let's say you got your papayas or your mangoes. There's lots of mangoes at my store right now, okay? And it says on the label, product of Mexico. They picked that before it was ripe, okay? So it might have been in season there, but it was before it was ripe. So the nutrients within that are a lot less. So your body's not getting the same vitamins and trace minerals from that product, from that produce that you would get if it was grown locally or even if it was picked at the right time when it was actually ripe, okay? And the second thing is kind of what I was touching on a minute ago, which is that without that regulation, without really knowing what chemicals were used, it's, it's almost like a gamble. You really have no idea if they spray to the capacity that they needed to or if they use too much of a chemical. So it breaks down those really great vitamins and trace minerals that were already there in the first place. So it's minimizing its benefits on your body sort of on both ends, if that makes sense. So by choosing something local or even just going somewhere like Costco and buying things that are frozen, most of the time they're frozen when they're in season. And so they're like sort of making sure that they, um, protect the intention of that plant at the time it was picked. So I like to pick, eat stuff that's out of season when it was frozen. Okay, sorry, I'm getting like rambly now and too excited because I'm hearing my little guys screaming upstairs. Bear with me. Hopefully Paul has it under control. Um, but so Costco, that's one of the greatest things about it is that they have everything ready to go and it's frozen, okay? But I don't really buy it ever fresh produce from Costco unless I know it's organic and I'm really watching 
um, if it's in season, okay? Because I don't want to buy anything from anywhere that's not in season. I don't just make something, come up with a recipe that I'm going to cook for my family when I know that those things aren't in season. So I will include in the comments a website that is a seasonal food guide that will show you what is in season in your local area year round. You can just type in where you live and it'll tell you and show you on a map. And it also shows you the benefits of eating those things. Um, like strawberries right now are in season. It shows you the benefits of eating strawberries right now versus eating them at other times of the year. It's basically empty calories. Think about it as mathematics. So if you have, you know, uh, strawberries during the fall, first of all, they don't taste very good and you're just kind of decorating your granola or whatever you're eating with the, with your strawberries um, with this pretty red substance, but it's not really serving your body with all the antioxidants that it has the ability to do. Strawberries have so many antioxidants and any real dark colored vegetable or fruit um, is gonna give your body a ton of antioxidants. So those are the things you wanna gravitate to just as long as they're in season. Okay. Now that I've rambled, and when I watch this back, I'm gonna be like, what was I saying? Because I'm all over the place, just bear with me. So this Microplex VMZ is so awesome, you guys, because here's what it does, is doTERRA is so smart. They have found all of the trace minerals, vitamins, and supplements that we need for where we live to serve our bodies, and they're from their food form, and they're from their food form in season. So what you're doing when you take the multivitamin from doTERRA is you're getting just the right amount for you. So in different areas of the world where doTERRA is sold, they blend together the Lifelong Vitality Pack according to those communities. And it makes it really simple because, you know, in Italy, my family's Italian, they, um, they have a totally different nutritional need than we do. They have three hours during the day where they take a nice big pause for lunch. They def definitely, uh, what is the what is the saying? Live to work, work to live. What is, how does that go? We, as Americans, as a society, are overworked. And in Italy, they appreciate self-care and being with family. Um, and things are just way more relaxed there. So their lifestyle is different. So they're going to need different things than we do. Same thing with China or Australia. All the places where doTERRA serves, they are serving that community based on their nutritional needs. So for us here in the US, it's really important to identify that a multivitamin is different than ones you may buy from those big box stores. So typically when you take a multivitamin from Costco or GNC and you look at the back of the bottle, it'll say something like 5,000% of your daily intake of vitamin A or B12 or CoQ10, which is all the rage, right? Everyone wants energy, so they're like, I want a vitamin with CoQ10 and B12. That's great, but if you're taking that much of it at one time, guess what happens to your poor body? It goes into your liver that has to metabolize it, and it overworks it, it puts it in overdrive, and it's really actually super counterproductive on your liver. And so not only is it making your body work harder, you're gonna end up just going to the bathroom and it all comes out in the toilet, right? You have this like bright colored pee in the toilet, bright yellow, bright green, and so you're just wasting your money. But when you take a supplement that is super effective and really smartly, like super ingeniously created um, so that it assimilates with the body, which just means that your body absorbs it. And why does it absorb it? Because it's made from its whole food, so it recognizes it and knows what to do. It's not synthetically made in the lab to mimic the quality of that real vitamin from food, it actually is that food. And the Microplex VMZ is also blended with nine different essential oils to help the body too on a nutritional level. Um, things like inflammatory response. So doTERRA recently did a clinical study and it was 60 days and these people were on the Lifelong Vitality Pack. Okay, sorry, my computer's gross. Hopefully you're still there. Um, and I wrote down some of the results that people found, which I thought were really interesting. So there were benefits in cardiovascular health after the 60 days, uh, tons of antioxidant status within their blood results. Their blood glucose levels had improved dramatically. They had seen improvements in um, regulation of mood, so mood improvements, energy, immunity, and pain management. And if I 
were just like a random bystander and watching people kind of go through this clinical study, which I feel like I am as a wellness advocate for doTERRA and someone who uh, advocates very actively for people in the nutritional field. I feel like I'm doing a clinical study every day and I'm watching my clients kind of go through the process and hearing their feedback and feeling like feeling their relief, feeling like they could finally take a deep breath, like this weight that was heavily weighing on them on their shoulders is just lightening and that burden of pain or whatever it is that they're facing is beginning to uh, be alleviated. That's just like so fulfilling to me to watch. So I love that doTERRA did the clinical study, but I also love that I myself get to watch that. And then I take the lifelong vitality pack as well. And so does my husband and my mom and everyone else I know. And so it's nice to be able to just speak to the things that we have seen and to know that people with different issues can really find relief using a product that's effective. So it may be a little bit more money than ones you might buy from Costco, but the value far outweighs the cost when you're talking about health because there is no price tag you can put on health and how you feel. So I'm gonna cut myself off here because there's more to talk about tomorrow and Wednesday about the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And then Thursday and Friday, we're gonna be chatting um, all things Terrazyme and probiotic. And let me just look up really quick because I forgot. I think today's Magnolia. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So if you made it to the end of this live, congratulations. We're best friends. <laughs> and um, why don't you share in the comments a picture of you taking your supplements? So it could be a picture of the supplements in your hands, or if you've already taken them today, it could just be a picture of you with the Microplex or even just a picture of the Microplex. You don't have to be in the picture if you don't want to. And we will select someone to win a bottle of Magnolia. So I will see you here tomorrow, um, hopefully earlier in the day. Spring break is awesome. <laughs> but have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll chat soon.